Hey there! I was in Amsterdam in an office supply store and I found a pen that I found very fascinating because I'd never seen one before. And that pen came in this box. Now I'm fairly certain this is not the box it should have come in, but it came in this box. And it opens up, you have to be a little careful, this little Pelican guarantee booklet and also how to fill it, etc. instructions. It has this bottle. I have never seen a Pelican bottle like this, so I don't know how old this is. This looks like a Gerbain bottle, except it isn't. Uh, uh, royal blue. And there is this fascinating foam thing which um, holds the bottle in place. It also has a Zen type drawing of a Pelican. And then, of course, there is the pen. I'm going to take out the pen, put the box away. Definitely not going to throw that box because it would knock someone out. This is the pen, and it's quite different from most pelicans. It doesn't have the green stripes. In fact, it doesn't really have any stripes except on the cap. This is the Pelican M625. And as I understand it, most pelicans that have a 5 somewhere in the model number for either limited editions or limited productions, etc. M625, so it's about 600, M600 size, but it's not an M600. So, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Let's start at the finial there, top of the cap, you can see this Pelican logo. It's not a particularly vintage pen or anything. Um, and we have the Pelican bill on the clip, and then you have this very nice uh, this is the purple. There was also a blue model of the 625. You see these nice purple stripes um, and Pelican Souverain Germany. And right there it says AG925, suggesting that it is silver, silver cap. Then you have the barrel, and I don't know how well you can see this. Let me uh, flood you with light there. Um, the barrel is actually translucent, which I think is particularly cool. Uh, it's very dark material, but you can definitely, if you hold it up to the light, you can definitely see the sheen. Then you have the piston turning knob. Alright, now you also want to see the nib. I'm sure the cap screws off, and then you have a, an M600 sh uh, sized pen, so it's not huge. I would say it's a pretty standard pen size. And then you have the nib. The nib is the pelican on there. It has those nice swirls on there that pelican does that I really love on nibs. It says uh, 18 C's, 18 carat, and then 750, so it is 18 K, and medium nib. And then you have the feed. The nib wrote really nicely out of the box, required no real work. It is a piston filled pen, so you have a decent amount of ink. I think it's a very, very cool design. Okay, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? For me, it could have been M1000 sized, but it's not. It's not an M1025, it's a 625. So you can't really criticize the model for what it is. Um, I do think that it's a very, very nice writer. I have not really had any issues with Pelican nibs pretty much ever, I think. Uh, they are very nice writers. Uh, a little bit of spring to it. This is not the springiest of models, but it definitely has some spring. You'll see that in the writing sample. Piston filler is always nice um, and um, uh, when you post it it becomes very heavy because the cap has all the silver in there which is just heavy. So this is one that I would, even though it's not so large, I would probably use uh, unposted. Okay, um, this is a pen that is in the um, mid 400 to end 400 euro range of uh, pricing. That makes it relatively expensive. Bear in mind, if it is a limited production pen, you're going to pay more. If it has silver on there, you're going to pay more. If it's a piston filler, you're going to pay more. If you have a gold nib, you're going to pay more. And all of that adds up to a pen that I would say is, is um, somewhat more expensive. Uh, I also think it's very nice. It's a very nicely made pen. It looks very elegant. Definitely different from a lot of the Pelican models. You don't have the stripes, etc but I do think it works well.
the lighting doesn't really, it's a very, fairly dreary day here, um, but the lighting doesn't really do the barrel justice, but if you hold it up against the light, you can really see the translucency, uh, which is very, very cool. So this is the Aubergine model, and as I said, there was also a blue model. Overall, I like it. I think it has a decent balance to it with the metal there. It, it's, it's really nicely balanced, and again, not something I would post. Writing experience is superb, and um, I think that, that really makes it worth it. Okay, I'm going to take some measurements before I do writing some. Capped, I have 133.2 millimeters, that's 5.24 inches. Uncapped, whoops, uncapped, I have 4.86 inches or 123.4 millimeters. If you really need to know, I don't know, yep, post that it fits in my caliper, so I'll have a quick look at that. 153.5 or 6.04 inches. Section diameter ranges from 0.38 or 9.7 millimeters to 0.42 inches or 10.7 millimeters. Uh, barrel diameter at the widest point is 0.49 inches or 12.4 millimeters. Let's weigh it. It's pretty much full of ink. And then it weighs 32 grams. So it's definitely not a an ultra light pen, but it's not super heavy either. I think it's a cool find, especially because it's a special Pelican and I like the brand. I'm going to do a writing sample next. I hope this was useful, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, here we go with this very nice pen. Pelican. M625 in violet with Ackermann uh, Voorhout Violet. Okay, let's do some writing here. Uh, the nib is a, uh, a medium, very smooth. Very pleasant. You may hear some feedback. And although you get a little bit, I really appreciate the way this nib feels on the paper. Um, it's a very pleasant writing experience and also quite wet. I really enjoy that. Let's do some fast writing. As you can see, no skips. There was a little bit of a hard start right there, but apart from that, it worked fine. Wetness. Bear in mind also that this is Clairefontaine paper, which is very smooth and does induce some hard starts occasionally. See, it's a pretty wet pen. As to line variation, there's definitely some to be had. It is an 18K nib. It is somewhat soft, I mean I would not even call that semi-flex, but it's definitely soft enough to squeeze out some line variation, as you can see here. Alright, finally, reverse writing, it's possible but horrid, scratchy, sharp, unpleasant, but if you really need to do it, you have one word, or two words before it runs dry, I think. They have it. A, I would say a very attractive pen. I hope this review was useful and I gladly see you later. Bye bye.